Thank you for allowing us to introduce Bax to you. Bax kills airborne bacteria and virus, as well as mold and fungus spores. It is also effective against many odors, particularly ammonia-based, ethylene, waste composition gases and cigarette smoke. Bax does this by producing hydroxyl clusters, which it distributes out into the treatment area by way of its own fan. Hydroxyls are not new. They are found in nature, and were discovered over 100 years ago by Louis Pasteur, while he was investigating, into why people living in high sunny conditions were healthier than people living at sea level. However, he never went any further with the research. In the late 60s and early 70s, the British Army conducted seven years of research into hydroxyls, as a means of combating germ warfare, which was a great concern around this era. It was finalized only, because the hydroxyl generator at that time was a large cumbersome affair and not as portable as deemed to be practical. Since that time though, hydroxyls have been researched over and over again and a huge amount of papers and other information is easily obtainable via internet. Most science universities discuss hydroxyls and ozone at some time during their courses. So to reiterate, hydroxyls are not a new science, and have been thoroughly and well researched over a great many years. It's only in the last decade, that technology has caught up with science, and hydroxyl generators have been able to be compacted and produced in a practical and easily deployed format. Bax is not the only hydroxyl generator on the market. However all other competing brands, other than the Bax, require a consumable, as well as servicing and maintenance. This means they must operate at ground level, as they require constant attention, for filling up and servicing. Operating at ground level inhibits their effectiveness. The Bax is totally consumable free, other than electricity, which is only 120 watts and about $50 per year. There are no filters to clean or replace, no chemicals or toxins, and no maintenance or servicing. The only moving part of a Bax is the motor and fan. The motor is a special resin packed motor, which is manufactured specifically to use in harsh environments, such as steam, dry powders, the cold of chill rooms, high humidity areas. In fact everywhere except underwater. It is sealed for a life expectancy of 12 to 15 years. What this means is that the backs can be installed high on the ceiling or high on a wall, and distribute hydroxyls throughout the entire area in the free air space for maximum efficiency in killing airborne bacteria. Install, and forget. Indicator lights that monitor the actual speed of the fan turning, as well as the high KV used to generate hydroxyls, can indicate if there should be a failure for any unanticipated reason. The Bax carries a three-year warranty for non-stop 24-7 use. The Bax is never turned off. Not at night to go home, not over the weekend, not over holidays. It's always working for you to eliminate all bacteria and virus in the rooms. So, what is a hydroxyl? A hydroxyl is a water molecule, H2O, missing a hydrogen atom to become, O, H negative. Some of these hydroxyls cluster together to share their remaining hydrogen atoms, and they go seeking to restore their natural balance. The fan of the Bax unit distributes them quickly out and away from the Bax unit into the air currents of the room. Think of a fog spreading out from a single source. These clusters are attracted to single-celled organisms, being bacteria and virus cells as well as mold and fungus spores. They clamp to the wall of the cell and forcibly extract their missing hydrogen atoms from the cell wall. They return to being a water molecule H2O, but the cell wall has been ruptured and so the cell instantly dies. Like a popped balloon it collapses. This is a mechanical action, rather than a chemical reaction, and thus bacteria and virus cells cannot become immune to hydroxyls. Further, it also means that hydroxyls work on every type of bacteria and virus, and are not only effective against a finite range or strain, as are most other antipathogen methods. UV for instance has a very limited effective range, and quickly becomes ineffective the higher the humidity. UV requires regular replacement of its lamps to remain efficient. In contrast, the Bax thrives in humidity and requires no lamps, filters or chemicals. 
Ozone is also a very efficient killer of airborne pathogens, but only at concentrations that kill humans and all forms of life. This is why the, the United States mandates that ozone is only used as a flood procedure, where the airtight rooms are closed and time locked to prevent entry. The room is flooded with ozone, and two hours before re entry to the room is allowed, the room must be flushed with fresh air sort of defeats the purpose. So if you're attracted by the prospect of ozone lamps and small ozone generators, as sometimes used in the flower industry, don't bother as they are a waste of time. They are inhibited to produce a safe level of ozone, which has little or no effect on killing pathogens in a large area, and are still capable of making you sick, if not used with due care. We are immune to hydroxyls, nature has made us that way. Hydroxyls won't penetrate, and they won't affect multi-celled organisms such as are we. HEPA filters are a reasonably expensive proposition and work to some extent with a few provisos. We do not attempt to replace HEPA filters due to a company's investment in them, but we can certainly point out how BACs can work hand in hand with a HEPA. A HEPA system relies on two things, a filter or series of filters to catch and contain the bacteria and the number of times it filters or changes the air in the treatment area. The filters cannot catch everything, they will always let cells smaller than their minimum size, through to return to the treated room or area. Secondly, the bacteria and virus caught in this filtering system are still alive. They are a biohazard, and it's not well publicized that the person renewing these filters should be suited up in breathing packaged air, to perform this function. A good HEPA system will often have a UV lamp shining on the filter so as to kill the caught bacteria, and this is a great idea, but adds to the costs in having to replace the lamps at regular intervals. Employing a BACs in the treatment area will ensure that all the bacteria missed by the HEPA filtering system are killed no matter how small. Another point to make is that a HEPA filter is designed and sized to filter or change the air a certain number times per day. Usually in the food industry this is 8 to 10 times per day, and in the medical industry can be up to 25 times a day depending on the treatment area. In plants and processing areas, new contamination is constantly introduced to the environment. People coming and going, people sneezing and coughing, forklifts bring in new product or packaging materials and so on. At an air change interval of 8 times per day, this can mean that it will take from one hour to one and a half hours for new contamination to be filtered, giving it plenty of time to land on surfaces and product and machinery and pass to other people, other food products and other surfaces. With the backs in the room and filling the air with hydroxyls, the new contamination is being attacked immediately and eliminated. How does backs produce hydroxyls without any consumables? This is the part of the science that is indeed new. The inventor of Bax realized at the beginning of the SARS outbreaks that hydrogen peroxide was being used as an effective inhibitor to the spread of SARS in hospitals and clinics. After researching, it was clear that the hydroxyls produced by the interaction of hydrogen peroxide with the air was producing hydroxyls, which were the killer of the SARS virus. He discovered many ways to produce hydroxyls artificially, but they all required a consumable and this was not what he sought. He discovered that a cold plasma field could strip hydrogen atoms from water molecules and thus become a hydroxyl exactly the same as the naturally occurring hydroxyls found at high altitudes. Thus the back features a row of paired black posts with a permanent carbon-based brush atop each post. Uniquely shaped high-voltage spikes produce a cold plasma field between and around each post pair. And when water molecules in the room's natural humidity are blown through the cold plasma field, they are stripped of one hydrogen atom and blown out into the room before they have a chance to recombine. Those water molecules that pass between, under or over, the cold plasma field remain unchanged. The room humidity remains constant as the hydroxyl clusters will survive a short time sharing hydrogen atoms and most will be turned back to water on contact with any bacteria and virus cell, or mold and fungus spores. Bax has been partly responsible for the fast action and reduction of SARS in Singapore. Important at the time, as Singapore is an Asian hub for business and tourist destinations. 
Bax was also instrumental in quelling an outbreak of hand foot and mouth disease in both Singapore and Hong Kong a few years later, and it's now mandated in both these areas that all kindergarten and child care centers have some form of airborne bacteria elimination. It wouldn't be true to say that they all employ backs because any method is acceptable, from regular sprays to UV lamps and so on, but many do use backs, as the original eliminator bought into focus to eradicate the outbreak. In Adelaide, Australia, backs was introduced to an aged care home suffering from an outbreak of norovirus, a regular and expensive occurrence in all aged care facilities. From a typical scenario of a 4 to 5 week outbreak, an 83% infection rate, two BAX units placed in the common room decreased the outbreak to 1.5 weeks and 39% patients. No deaths occurred which is a real threat in these outbreaks. The facility concern was able to come out of quarantine some weeks ahead of a typical norovirus scenario, was able to return all employed staff to regular duties quicker, and allow loved ones to visit residents in a considerably shorter time. Getting back to food applications, Bax has been sold into a variety of situations. To a major manufacturer of specialized packaging for the food industry with a separate room, which is successfully controlled by a Bax. For the elimination of mold which grows from loose pockets of flour or flour dust in several bakeries, and with a large producer of tortillas. Several yogurt producers have purchased units, to control bacteria in the cook and cool rooms where they heat yogurt, and then have to cool it rapidly in large open vats or buckets. A number of small goods processing and packaging rooms. In several vegetable processing and fresh salad providers, in particular to treating naturally occurring listeria on lettuce leaves. In commercial kitchens producing aged care meals and other ready meals. In New Guinea we have several units in an ice cream plant and also at another location in a water bottling plant. In New Zealand we have several units in fisheries, and a backpackers hotel to fumigate the rooms of smokers and non-smoking rooms. Also in New Zealand we will shortly be conducting extended shelf life trials with a major supermarket chain. In Singapore, waste bins cannot be left outside due to the high humidity and temperatures, so hotels and restaurants must have waste rooms. Bax is used to reduce odors and kill bacteria in these waste rooms. Backs are also used in export chiller rooms, to retard the ripening of fruits and vegetables awaiting shipping for export. Several large sandwich makers employ backs over their sandwich assembly lines. A bit off topic, but we have also had many comments about reduced sick leave by staff. It's been observed overseas as well to such an extent, that we have designed a new smaller and quieter model, which will better suit offices, surgeries, children's nurseries etc. After all, the Bax is killing flu and cold viruses equally as well as anything else it encounters. From the ceiling is the preferred position, but they can be wall mounted as an alternative as long as it's positioned as high as possible. Although they can be aimed at critical areas rather than centralized, we don't recommend reducing the number of required units per area simply because of air movement and the introduction of new contaminants by people and product on a continuous basis. Better to install larger units sized for the area, and smaller units for critical area coverage. An important aspect for the food industry is that we have both HACCP Australia approval and endorsement, in particular to satisfy local certification concerns, as well as HACCP international approvals. Thank you for making your time available to view this important presentation.